having a good day. It is Sunday today and I'm in the studio. I'm going to be doing a few little bits and bobs and I thought I would film it. Yesterday I had a huge content day. So basically I have a few new prints that I've launched on the matchy.au website. So I took all the photos for that and this morning I'm just going to be editing all the content and getting it all ready to put it across social media. I also thought it would be fun to like do something a bit different today i um have been obsessing over skirts it's like all i've been looking at online and i haven't really found one that i think might like work for me i haven't looked too hard i don't know it's just kind of something in the back of my mind but i thought i'd also have a look online today and see if there were any skirt patterns that i could purchase and then make so if i do that i'll take you along and we can make a skirt together i think will be super cute but yeah this is just a slow sunday in my craft room I managed to find a pattern and I've cut it all out so this will be a wrap skirt and I'll just show you one here so this is the pattern that I'm going it's the Esme wrap front skirt from tint of mint patterns well I also paid like 14 15 dollars Australian for it so definitely worth it um, this one comes with a um, like tutorial on YouTube. I'm really excited about that because and I'm going to use this fabric. So this is like a linen fabric and it's gingham, a purple gingham. I think that'll be quite cute. I was just going to say I'm not going to like show you how to do this because you can purchase it and there's like optimal instructions. Um, but yeah, I'm just doing like a little vlog on what I'm actually doing and how it actually looks from a customer if you're thinking about buying a skirt or wanted it. Um, yeah. actually been a few days now since I filmed the making of the skirt. I had to quickly rush to finish it and make it up to the Sunshine Coast because we were attending a dinner for a family member's birthday. So that happened and I couldn't really film the rest of the skirt. The dog like jumped up on the skirt and like put its muddy paws on it. So I had to then wash it and then iron it. So here I am. It's all clean and it's all ready to show you the final piece. I'm really happy with how it went. It was definitely true to size. I chose to make the size 14 and it definitely fits me. It's a little bit bulky in some areas, but that could just be user error. My only tips is definitely test the button placement before you sew on the buttons as per the instructions. But other than that, everything like works perfectly and it looks good and I will show you and stand up now. So this is the finished skirt. The bow is quite eccentric which I like um there is like this is the bulky seam bit um which definitely is user error my overlocker broke like halfway through it well it didn't break but I just gave up with it um and yeah this is the finish look hopefully it's not too see-through but um I'll show you it all and that's it it's super like breathable obviously because I chose a linen fabric um, and yeah I love it if you were wanting to make this yourself it is available on Etsy I'll have the links in the description not sponsored of course just want to show you what I make and if I like making it hopefully you will too it's definitely beginner friendly 
Um, you don't need an overlooker to make it, although it does say to have one. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if there's any more projects. Maybe there's some patterns that you've wanted to purchase but wasn't sure how it worked out that you might want me to try out for you. If there's any particular items that you would like to see handmade, let me know and I can make more videos. Okay, bye!